yes 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 what's up guys um in this video i'm going to be telling you one reason why you shouldn't buy the scarlet audio interface the scarlet 2i2 or the scarlet 2i4 so if you were i think now it's going called 4 i4 not even 2i4 if you're looking for a new audio interface to get or if you're trying to upgrade your audio interface and maybe you're on the budget um, i know one of the most popular audio interfaces that people recommend in nigeria is the scarlet 2i2 or scarlet 2i4 you know um but i have one reason why i don't think is the greatest audio interface to buy at least not in 2023 um of course it has good preamps it has good um you know sound it has a good sound a decent sound you know but there's just one thing that i don't like so much about the focus rights or the interface um if you're using a windows computer then you probably you probably have faced this before you know is what we call loopback feature if you don't know what loopback feature is loopback feature is just basically a feature that lets you record the audio coming out from your audio interface not the one coming in but coming out so you can record your outputs like a like an input channel you know so that's one feature that the focus right audio interface doesn't have and you will ask what's loopback feature why do i need the loopback feature so much um first things first if you make beats so if you stream if you um you know if you want to share your content if you want to share your beats making process and you need to record your audio coming from your door of course i know you can bounce out the audio and put the audio and edit it but if you're using software like obs or camstasia where you're recording your screen or where you have to record your your computer screen you know if you're using the door and you're using um the scarlet 2i2 as your driver nothing is going to see it on your computer no no other software is going to see it except your door the loopback feature lets you record the audio coming out from your computer regardless of what driver you're using if you're using Azure driver you know it's still going to help you record as long as that audio is passing through the outs of your audio interface you can record it that's what the loopback feature is and it's called it's 2i2 or it's called 2i4 it doesn't have it yes there are ways to go around it but trust me it's a whole hassle to find how to make that thing work you know and even if you make it work if you use fl studio as your driver sometimes the quality might not be the best but still it could still work you know but that's the only feature i can tell you that the scarlet 2i2 or 2i4 or 4i4 doesn't have you know um it's very 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 important to have features like that if you're streaming like i said already if you're streaming if you're recording your screen if you want to make tutorials for youtube you need you need all those features but now if you don't rec if you don't make beats if you don't um record your other audio if you don't need to record anything because like, there are a lot of uses for the luba feature there are a lot of uses um i don't want to tell you every single thing but for the most part just think about it anything that can come outside from the audio of your audio interface anything that is coming out from the outputs best believe that you can record that sound in so what audio interface would i recommend if you ask um there are a couple of audio interfaces that might have the loopback feature that i don't even know about but the one i can recommend for you guys it might be a little bit pricey but it's the motu audio interface motu m4 or motu m2 i currently use the motu m4 audio interface it has the loopback feature and trust me it made my life way easier when i switched from using scarlet 2i2 and 2i4 to motu m4 i've used trust me i've used scarlet for a long time scarlet 2i2 was my first audio interface i got the first gen then i got the second gen and i got the scarlet 2i4 second gen and you know it's been a good audio interface of course i i use it for like two three years two three two three i use it for like three four years you know um, making beats then you know i was like you know what i need to upgrade my audio interface and so not if you've not bought an audio interface yet if you're looking to buy an audio interface look more into the specs before you buy the audio interface you know look for what you're going to use it for don't only look at you know like i said it's a great the focus right 2i4 is a great audio interface you know i don't want you guys coming in the comments and saying I'm, i don't know what i'm saying i know what i'm saying i've used the audio interface it's not the best in the world guys because trust me there are a lot of other things that you guys can consider when it comes to recording your recording chain you have your preamps you know you have your external compressors all that stuff so it's going to add quality to your recording the audio interface might not you know you might think it's the best until you start upgrading your sound um, and you start upgrading it to your preamp when you start looking into preamp sounds then compressors you know then eqs external eqs all the analog gear then you say that you know the audio interface is just the very basic sound that you get now we've already have the scarlet 2i2 or the scarlet 2i4 or 4i4 you know i'm not saying you should go out and 
upgrade your audio interface already there are a lot of other things that you can consider when you're trying to upgrade your sound you know when i was trying to upgrade my sound i started off with you know changing my mics first you know from mics i started getting preamps from preamps to external compressors you know the audio interface it sounds good all right but you know once you start changing preamp sound you start getting to like a preamp level of quality then the preamp self can even make any cheap mic sound good you know that's one thing i also noticed i used to use the akg p120 mic with my scarlet 2i2 then while i was using the akg p120 i got a preamp the warm audio mk12 um, preamp just recording the mic directly to my audio interface sounds good, good enough but when you hear the quality of my preamp compared to the audio interface you can hear it because there's, there's actually a difference in in the quality it sounds richer it's thicker you know it has it feels like there's more quality in, into it so the audio interface might not be the next thing you might want to upgrade if you already have an audio interface maybe start looking into getting preamps and of course guys all these gears are expensive and i know the audio interface comes with the preamp in it all i'm just saying is if you want to start upgrading your your sound if you feel like your sound needs to get better you know if you feel like oh i need to upgrade my sound i need to you know i just want something new then you can start looking at getting stuff like that start looking into stuff like preamps compressors uh, microphones you know um treating your room because treating your room too is also underrated some people don't think treating your room is very important you know treating your room might be one thing you need to consider some places you might record your song it might be a very 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 bad environment like some people go to hotels to record songs or some people might record in, a, in their living room where there are tiles everywhere and it's not the best quality when you record in places like that of course there are ways to go about fixing problems like that with plugins and the restoration plugins but it's always best when you have a good recording environment so you get the best results